Whether you're a Muslim in America or another country, you might be hearing a lot about the Taliban. For some it means peace, and for others it means radical ideas and radicalism. Which is nothing new, obviously there's different parties, different sides to every fight. But what's going on in the war-stricken land of Afghanistan is definitely not what the people want, and can actually cause a major war, which is a huge problem for the entire world. Wars are not something just fought between two countries or two people or groups of people. It's a war that starts between a lot of different countries. You can't hurt one person without getting a whole bunch of others involved. It's kind of like what happens in the United States. If you stab someone, you're going to have a lot of people involved to put you away. Why I say the Taliban has radical ideas is because not everyone agrees with them. Does it make it necessarily radical? It's depending on the person. Many people agree the Taliban changes quite a lot from the Quran, which is the holy bible of their people, the Muslim people, and they believe to use that in a different way for their own agenda, which is nothing new. Church and religion has always been used for agendas, everything from getting rid of a certain group of people or race, or just changing the way a government works or a country is, or taking over a new property, a new place. Waging wars based on religion has been a thing since the beginning of time, and it doesn't make it right. Most of the way we know the world today came from that type of war, came from those efforts from religion, or different beliefs in religion. For most of the countries around the world, these changes actually created the country names and the countries that we represent today. While what the Taliban is doing is nothing new historically, it doesn't make it right. This generation's been the heaviest about peace and love before even the 60s. In the 60s, in the United States anyway, people wanted peace instead of war. Nowadays, people don't want war at all, especially with the health crisis of basically COVID going around. Nobody wants another battle to fight. That's already a war being raged and waged across the entire globe. That's the war especially Americans are fighting right now and that we're willing to fight. The Taliban has just taken over Afghanistan's capital city, which is called Kabul. Now this is a pretty big deal because they've been fighting for the city for quite a while. The US embassy was completely driven out of Kabul by the Taliban, and this happened overnight. Basically the Taliban has taken over so much of Afghanistan in a big rush, trying to make a power push move to prove their point of their beliefs, and also to take over the government they claim the Americans do not belong there, have never belonged there, and should not come back. It is the Taliban's strong belief that they can handle their own people, their own government, without the assistance or surveillance from other countries or political parties. They believe that they can rule their entire state and country by themselves. And this may be true. However, is it what the people want? Or is it good for Afghanistan as a whole, or the city of Kabul in this matter? I don't know. Honestly, I can't answer that. We don't live there. However, the people of Afghanistan who actually do live there feel very differently from the beliefs of the radical group the Taliban. Some of them are obviously going along with it, and they will to protect themselves and their families. For them to go against a group of people with guns is not a smart idea. To be allies or friends with them may be the best choice, and who wouldn't make that decision if you're afraid for your life? But that's not where this story ends for you and I, guys. There's more coming our way. There could be a potential war going on between the United States government and Afghanistan, or at least the Taliban people. This could be a big problem. Now, the war between Al-Qaeda and all these different groups of radicalism has been going on for a long time. Between the United States, the UK, the United Nations, it's been going on with multiple countries across the globe. Everyone is aware of that. However, what you might not understand is the severity of the situation, guys. At 3.45 Eastern Standard Time this afternoon, President Biden is expecting to address the American people about the situation in Afghanistan. This situation could turn into an all-out war. And this isn't a war just like in a video game. This is a war within the entire world. This is a problem because there's parties within Afghanistan Afghanistan that also have interest. Interest are what kind of makes war complicated. They may have oil interest, they may have resource interest, and they have to protect their party. When a country has a breakout or all-out war within their own people, things get really complicated very fast. In this case, the first stage for President Biden to do is to basically talk to the American people. However, while he's talking to the American people, he's actually talking to the world. Everyone respects and understands the United States government is a huge factor in the world's global economy. So whatever goes on in the United States does affect your country too. The second stage or second step for President Biden would probably be to send troops back into Afghanistan to fight back the Taliban, or also protect the Afghanistan native people. That could be what's going to happen, in which case this is going to start a battle. Start a war. Obviously the battle's already been going on, but the war hasn't really started yet. In a way you can think of it like this. All countries are always in some sort of battle or war at all given time. Why do they do it? Well, obviously to protect their interests, which we've talked about briefly, to take out the radical groups in a country, or for any other reason to raise money, or to cripple a country's people or economy. This is a great way to take over a country, you get my point. It's all about land or interest or money in some single way. Whatever the factor may be, there's always some sort of agenda behind it. Sometimes even staging of agendas. War is a very complicated game, and it's not one that I think a lot of people want to play. War might be fun in video games, war might be fun in TV, movies, etc, but it's not fun in the real world. 
when it comes to your doorstep, you'll feel very differently to it, especially if you were saying, hey, I love war. You won't eventually. Now guys, one thing I do want to mention is whether you're in a different country in Europe, etc., or you're nearby in Afghanistan or any of the neighboring countries, don't feel that this is not your battle, not your war. Don't think that this can't happen to you. Don't think that they may not be coming there to you next. Whether it's just one bomber on a plane, whether it's something in a subway station, whether it's on a bus, whether it's something in a hospital or school, it can happen at any time. Radicalism spreads fast, guys. Whether they're part of the Taliban or just someone who follows the idea of the Taliban and misconstrues it in their own ideal way to cause mayhem or any kind of bombing situation or anything crazy, it can happen fast. That's why, like I said, guys, we need to get a handle on this and prepare ourselves for what might be coming. Whether you're in the United States or any other country around the world, pay attention to what's going on with the battle in Afghanistan. If you're a kid right now, if you're an adult, pay attention. It's all something you need to know about and keep an eye on just in case. You never know, things can pop up very fast, just like this battle did within 24 hours. Keep in mind, guys, things happen very fast. I do hope this video helped some of you guys out there and maybe rose some attention. And if it did, let me know in the comment section down below. I do appreciate your support. While this channel is focused on gaming, we're also here and we're people and we want to get these kind of videos out to you guys. So if something like this goes on, you know we'll talk about it in the near future. Anyways, guys, until next time, it's been Gamer Today.